Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one I always look forward to. We have some first sniffs to do here together because we are right around the corner from Bring Back My Bar. Now, if you are newer here or newer to Scentsy, hello and welcome. I hope you'll stick around. Bring Back My Bar is something that we look forward to twice a year. I absolutely love this promotion. It is so much fun and it changes up with each bring back my bar and i feel like each bring back my bar gets more and more exciting and i must say this particular bring back my bar event by the way i will explain what bring back my bar is but um this particular bring back my bar event promotion this round if you will i feel like we're seeing a lot of different scents some that are new to me some that are just like a blast from the past that i'm super happy to see come back um and i'm just i'm really excited for it because there for a while it seemed like a lot of the same things were being voted back time and time again and while that is nice for some people who um maybe are just now getting into the Scentsy game and they're like, well, I don't know what happy birthday smells like, or I don't know what banana nut bread smells like. Don't worry, friends. I'm sure those will be voted back again soon. Um, but it is kind of nice to see some different scents. And I must say this round, has quite a few different scents. So I'm really, really excited. Now, if you are wondering what the heck are you talking about? What is Bring Back My Bar? Bring Back My Bar is when Sensi opens up voting polls for everyone, not just consultants, anyone who has internet access to be able to vote back their favorite retired bars. Now, even if you are newer to Sensi, you can still vote back. Like I said, there's plenty of these I have never experienced and I have been hanging around with Sensi more than 10 years now. And and there's some of these that I'm like, I have no idea what these smell like. This is totally new to me. Um, but I just, and some of these I did vote on without even having smelled it. Um, and it's just based on the scent description. So we'll see. So there's one in particular I'm really, really excited for because I know I voted for it time and time again. Um, and it did make it back. So I'm really hoping that it was, that it is a good one. But for some of you Scentsy OGs out there, um, you know, maybe you are seeing some blasts from the past that were available to vote back. And so you vote, the voting is only for a couple of days. Um, the voting has already taken place and the next voting round will typically happen probably probably the first or second week in February. Usually it's right after the Bring Back My Bar um, bars have returned and they have been discontinued. So usually I would assume that's going to happen again, like I said, first or second week in February when the voting will be available. So just for a couple of days, we're able to vote um, for five, five, either five of the same scents or you have five votes. Um, so whether you are choosing five different scents, five of the same scents, um, what have you, but you can vote five times per day per website. Um, and when the voting time comes around again, I always like to do it right along with you so that you can kind of see what my thoughts are, um, kind of how the voting process goes. And then um, all the votes are tallied and they the winners are announced. So we have 20 of the top picks that were uh, voted by us. And then we also have five of Dan Orchard's uh, picks as well. Dan Orchard is our interim CEO. And so he has picked his five favorite scents for Bring Back My Bar um, that were uh, eligible for voting. And then just the top 20 that, um, that won for popularity. So I'm really, really excited. There are 25 scents that we are going to sniff through together. Now, typically I know I really like to do first sniffs along with my husband but we're doing things a little bit different because he's actually out of town right now on a boys trip it is much needed he needs to get out of the house from time to time so we're actually doing this separately so i am doing my first sniffs and then he is going to do his first sniffs so um so stay tuned if you want to see kind of what sean's reactions are his is just more like yes i like it no i don't what is that smell the undercarriage <laughs> that is too strong or or what have you so if you're more into like the direct yes or no i like it uh, definitely stay tuned for his video but um yeah this is this is gonna be a long one so grab a snack and let's go ahead and dive right in okay so we're gonna go in alphabetical order and let's go ahead and get started with the first scent which is amaretto so Amaretto is um, a, I, this is definitely one that I had voted for, for sure. This is not one that I have ever experienced. It's a really pretty kind of creamy color wax. And I'm really hoping this is everything I'm hoping it will be. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check it out. Oh yeah, this is exactly it. 
Oh, it's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. It smells exactly like amaretto. There is a deep richness to this. Oh, my club is in so much trouble, you guys. <laughs> this is the first one and I'm like, this is going in my club. And this is always like the hardest round, I feel like for me, um, is the bring back my bars because we're coming to the end of the catalog season. So we're getting ready to lock up our fall and winter scents. I know that sounds crazy because we're in December, but we're getting ready to change over from our fall and winter scents to our spring and summer scents. And so whenever we're in that like transition period, I will go through my Scentsy Club. Again, if you are new here, hello and welcome. Scentsy Club is our subscription service. You will hear me talk about it all the dang time. And when I go through and do my Scentsy Club edits, I do it right along with you. I do a screen recording so you can check it all out. I'll have a separate video to come for that um but yeah this is always like the hardest part because I'm like I don't want to really remove anything from my club yet because I want to wait and see what's coming back for spring and summer um but the, the yeah the, it, it, the, my club's in trouble <laughs> because this is amazing I love this I can tell this is already going to be a strong performer I think it might be a little bit too much for for Sean but I yeah I'm gonna say I should make a list in fact, since he's out of town, I think I'll do that tonight. I think I'm going to make a list of what my assumptions are going to be for what he likes and dislikes. I won't say anything to him until all of his first sniffs are done. And then we'll see if I know my husband. But for me, I absolutely love this. So Amaretto, this is described as an almond scented fragrance sweetened with honey and spice. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. Okay, and this gives me the same like vibes, different, totally different, but same vibes as cherry almond pie. <sighs> if you have that one, I, I, and it smells like the scent strength might be about the same with this one as well, which that one's a freaking powerhouse. So we'll see. Okay, next one is Awakening. And Awakening is a really pretty kind of peachy coral color wax. And this one I'm not familiar with either. I feel like this one I may, like it sounds familiar, so I don't know if this was like my more earlier Scentsy days or what, but oh, this is pretty. This would be a really pretty, this is like a fresh clean floral, almost, almost leaning laundry, really pretty. I think this would be a really pretty like bedroom bathroom scent. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's really pretty. So Awakening is invigorate your senses with an unexpected harmony of white peach and vanilla, pineapple and amber. Totally not what I was expecting. I don't know. I don't know that I pick up peach from this. I don't pick up vanilla. If you're someone who you don't like vanilla scents, this is not bakery in any way. Like so that I don't I don't pick up any vanilla. It might be adding a sweetness to this. Amber, I think I can probably pick up because I do get that like floral, but I would not call this fruity. It's so funny because this is saying that it's, this is leaning fruity, but I would say this is almost like fresh, clean floral. Oh, that's really pretty though. I really like that. So that is awakening. Oh. So, and typically what I like to do is give you like my top six favorite scents. I might have to do top 10. <laughs> We'll see. I'll see if I can narrow it down to six. Next one is bananas. So, um, and this one I am familiar with. And if you like a good banana scent, this is for you. <laughs> this is totally for you. This is a really great banana scent. And um, we have had a few different banana scents. We don't typically have a ton, but Scentsy does a good banana scent. And um, this is exactly that it's kind of like a banana candy almost almost like that um i think it's like laffy taffy or something that has a banana candy and that's kind of the vibes that it's giving me but really fun i actually think sean's gonna like this a lot so um i like that so bananas is a delicious tropical banana mixed with coconut milk and island vanilla reminiscent of banana flavored taffy 100 percent. because i was just gonna say i do think i pick up coconut in this to add some sweetness, but it's not like pina colada cha-cha or anything. It's not, it's not a pina colada kind of scent. It's definitely banana forward, but you have that like coconut that's just adding some sweetness. And yeah, it totally taffy vibes for sure. <laughs> so bananas. Okay, next one is blood orange spice. And this one I have smelled before, um, but I just, I don't remember a ton about it. I, I don't remember a ton about it. 
I feel like it, I wasn't like a huge fan of it. Okay, let's see if I can get it open first. <laughs> okay, Blood Orange Spice, and it is a really pretty red wax. Yeah, no, I still don't do it. Um, and it's fine, it's fine. This is not one that I'm like, that I hate or anything. And please know that everybody sniffer differs. This is something that I may love, um, which you're gonna find if you do watch both my video and Sean's video. Um, our, our sense of smell is very different. So it's totally fine. And some things, sometimes I will pick up or you will pick up whoever, like sometimes we will pick up different scent notes in different in, in different waxes. Like there's some scent notes that I may pick up that I'm like, it's totally not in the scent description whatsoever. I mean, look at Awakening. <laughs> I'm like, it's fresh, clean floral. And it's like, the scent description is clearly fruity. Um, I, I would beg to differ on that one. But there are some that like, I know my nose just goes totally rogue on and that's totally fine. Um, so please know when I say that like, I don't particularly care for a scent or a scent is not really for me, please don't feel like, oh, well maybe I shouldn't try that one. Definitely read the scent description. I try to break it down, even if it's a scent that I don't really typically care for, I still try to break it down for you a little bit better than maybe what the scent description can do. So I'm trying, I try my best over here. Okay, um, but yeah, this is, I, I think the reason for me why it's not like my favorite scent, I feel like because the blood orange in this, and I do remember this one was one that did change and get better as it warmed. So if you do get this, maybe just a bar to try and you smell it on cold and you're like, eh, something's kind of off with it. Definitely warm it. Cause I, I, and I am still going to warm this too, uh, because I do remember this from the past that this actually was better as it warmed up because for me, the blood orange in this is very bitter. I like sweet scents. This has kind of like a bitter scent to me. So it's bitter and then it, it does have that spice that comes through. So for me, it's just a little bit bitter, but uh, blood orange spice is candied. <laughs> Here I am. I'm like, it's bitter. Uh, candied apple, <laughs> blood orange puree and cinnamon stick will satisfy your autumn obsession. I do definitely agree that this is a, an autumn scent, a, a fall scent for sure. Um, I, I don't pick up any apple. Honestly, it's really just that blood orange and cinnamon stick for me, for what I pick up. Okay, uh, next one I'm so excited for. I'm so excited for. Um, and it is Caramel Sugar Cone. And Caramel Sugar Cone is, I feel like it's along the same lines as Crumb Top. And I learned my lesson with Crumb Top and I learned my lesson with this scent just as much. I need to add it to my club. This one was one that it has been back since Scentsy Club was a thing. Oh, just stop it. <laughs> and even if you're a scent, or even if you're a scent, even if you're a person who doesn't care for caramel scents, some because sometimes caramel scents can be a little bit too sweet, too cloying, but that like waffle cone scent in this just kind of like dilutes down the sweetness of the caramel. Oh, it's so good, you guys. This one, the same as Crumb Top in that it's amazing on its own and it's a really great mixer as well and it's definitely going back into my club. I don't think I actually ever had it in my club. I think this was just one that either it was available and I thought it was going to come back or it was in a bring back my bar and I ordered several bars of it and I thought that was just gonna be enough, but oh man, oh, it's so good. Well, my, my keep list is much, much larger than my don't keep list. Okay, the next one is cinnamon. And I can't help but laugh with this because um, it was a recent, it was a recent first sniffs with Sean that I kept, I was smelling something. I'm like, it's cinnamon, it's cinnamon, it's cinnamon. And I, I was thinking, I was thinking of the Cinnaburst gum when we were smelling something. Um, I think it was when we were doing our Sensepiration's Christmas Cottage first sniffs. Um, and so I kept saying cinnamon. <laughs> and, then, and then when I was looking at the names of all the Bring Back My Bars, I'm like, of course, <laughs> of course there's cinnamon. So we have cinnamon is next and kind of like a burnt uh, red wax. And yeah, this is, <laughs> it's cinnamon, <laughs> it really is. And I do feel like if you like the Christmas Cottage, uh, Sensepirations Christmas Cottage Mint, um, I think you'll really like this because there's a lot of similarities for sure. It's It smells like cinnamon gum. <laughs> I, I like it though, it is good, so cinnamon. 
Oh, let me go ahead and read you the scent description on it. Did I even read you? I didn't even read you the caramel sugar cone because I'm just so excited it's coming back. Uh, caramel sugar cone is gooey caramel, vanilla, sugar cone, and a touch of malt. So that is caramel sugar cone. Cinnamon is a blend of warm cinnamon and spices with a burst of peppermint. It's not, I think the cinnamon kind of overpowers the peppermint. So it's not, I feel like it's not too much of, I, well, th this is spice forward. If you don't like spicy scents, this is gonna be too spicy for you. But I feel like the peppermint in this just kind of cools down the cinnamon and gives it like a, a cinnamon gum. <laughs> kind of feel that's that's what I'm feeling okay I'm making some piles here okay next one is cranberry mango another kind of dark red wax and this one I'm super intrigued by I don't remember this one whatsoever and what I'm hoping is that it's gonna be a really good kind of transitional scent because cranberry for me is very like fall winter fruity and then mango is very spring summer. So I'm hoping that this will be a really great kind of transition fruity scent going from winter into, into the spring is what I'm hoping. Okay, so cranberry mango. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, honestly, I can totally see enjoying this all year because in one sniff, I'm feeling the like fall winter vibes and then the next sniff, that mango's coming through, and it's totally appropriate for spring and summer. Oh, this is good. This is really, really good. So we've got cranberry mango. Oh, I, my club is in so much trouble, you guys. <laughs> cranberry mango is described as a melange of tropical mango, cozy cranberry, and spicy pineapple. Yeah, this is, this is really good. Oh my goodness. Okay, add it to the yes pile. Okay, next one is Crazy Coconut. And yes, I'm very familiar with this scent. And this is a scent that I actually have a couple of bars of that I'm just hanging on to because it's just so good. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. This is just a great, pure coconut scent. It's so good because a lot of coconut scents, it's like, well, it's got to be added with some other added fruits and things. And don't get me wrong. I am here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. But I'm also here for just the pure coconut scents. And this is different than like coconut palm that we had. And I think it was like the last bring back my bar. Um, this is almost like dried like coconut shavings. Like there is a sweetness to this, almost like a candied coconut, but there's nothing else except for coconut in this that that I'm picking up maybe some sugar maybe a hint of vanilla but like there's no other like added fruits or anything oh, it's so good so crazy coconut is coconut milk excuse me coconut milk mixed it says mixed fruit but they're lying um it's there's no mixed fruit coconut milk mixed fruit and vanilla ice cream it's just for me I'm picking up like those like I said, it's almost like there's um, the, the coconut shavings that you can get. And I'm specifically, I'm being very specific to like like a coconut cake or um, like when you go to like a, a frozen yogurt bar or something and you can like build your own toppings and stuff. I always used to put like the dried coconut on mine. That's what this is giving me the same vibes of. So um, yes, maybe I, I agree with the vanilla, but it's just adding a sweetness. It really is. The coconut is the star of the show. When you read the description, you're like coconut milk, you kind of think it's kind of like in the background and there's more fruits involved. The coconut really is in the forefront and it's wonderful. I really love this. So crazy coconut, just add it to the ants pile. Okay, uh, next one is actually a licensed bar. So that is something that I really like that Sensi has done in recent years is open up the bring back my bar to licensed bars as well. So. Um, and I honestly don't even remember what this smells like. And that's really sad because I've been a consultant since before we started our licensing agreement with Disney. <laughs> so that tells you something. Okay, so we have Disney's Buzz Lightyear to Infinity and Beyond bar. So this is back starting January 1st. Yeah, did I even tell you when this is happening? All of these bars are gonna be available starting January 1st. So, okay, Buzz Lightyear. Okay. That could be why I don't remember it. <laughs> it. It's not, 
Am I getting grape from this? Grape or blueberry or, and I like blueberry scents, but like this to me, when I first smell it, there's some kind of a fruity vibe that I, I don't love, but I also don't hate it. So that's why I'm thinking is it like, cause grape, I don't love grape scents. Blueberry, I love, but sometimes like the blueberry mixed with like grapes gives me some like vibes I don't love. But I know a lot of people are excited about this and I am going to go ahead and, and war I'm going to warm through all of this because um, I like to give you my honest opinions on them. But all right, what is this? Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. Um, okay, so I think that's what it is. So fizzy orange and black currant are cosmically balanced with plum blossom and sugared raspberry. For me, I think there's just too much going on. I know exactly what it is that my nose doesn't like in this and it's the black currant. I don't typically love black currant scents or typically any currant scents. Um, more recently, there have been some scents that have currant in it and I, I have been surprised because typically current scents smell like this to me and i think there's just for my nose i think there's just too much going on between the orange the current the plum the raspberry i feel like there's just it's almost like when you have that bag of candy that just has like everything mixed together <laughs> like i'm thinking like halloween candy and you like you get back from the end of the night and it's like way too much, like too much mixed together. That's just kind of what the vibe is I get from my nose. <laughs> Again, I know a lot of people who are really excited to see this come back, so I'm super excited for you. Um, I just like to give you my honest opinions on this, so. Okay, so that is Buzz Lightyear to Infinity and Beyond. Now, I am excited for this next licensed bar and it is from Disney's Bambi and it is Twitter painted really really excited for this one um i love this for a multitude of reasons um this one is a really nice scent um and i didn't lock it in my club before um just because i wasn't sure that i would miss it as much as i do um it is a fresh clean scent from what i remember i do remember it wasn't crazy strong but it does remind me of my dad because my dad really really liked this scent so i am locking it in my club if for no other reason for that so we have twitter painted this is really nice this is this is nice it is fresh clean it's it's fresh clean it leans like there's a it's just a hint of like just a hint of a cologne scent but then there's also like an earthy kind of dewy grass note in here too. It's really nice. I think this is a nice kind of bathroom. Um, this is a nice bathroom scent. This is pretty. I do really like this. Um, Twitter painted is Sunkissed Mayor Lemon Morning Dew Drops and Lush Mild Lush Wild Moss. So yeah, definitely more of that fresh, clean, earthy kind of scent. Um, I love it though. So add it to the list. <laughs> okay, next one is Everything Nice. And this one I do remember. This one I do remember I love during like the fall months. Um, we'll see. We'll see if I remember it correctly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is a, I believe this is a pumpkin base scent. And then you have the warm spices that are just, it's so good. Do I think I'm going to add this to club? I don't know. We'll see. I, I am, like I said, I am going to warm these and really like make a decision and make a list on my must haves. Um, but I feel like since he does so many really great kind of pumpkin spice scents, but this is pumpkin spice bakery without it being like pumpkin roll or pumpkin cinnamon swirl. And I love both of those scents, but there is something slightly different about this one. Is there, there's almost like some ginger in here too. Oh gosh, this is really good. <laughs> this is really good. And if I wasn't so, I don't want to say over, but if I wasn't so like kind of over like the fall sense, I think I'd probably be going super crazy over this. <sighs> I'm probably going to have to add this to club. All right. I'm telling you, my club is in so much trouble. This is such a good lineup for bring back my bar. Okay. Everything nice is deep caramel and swirls of butter with roasted pumpkin and glazed pecans. It's so good. <laughs> it is so, so good. So there's no ginger, but I think it's the, I think it's 
the caramel with the butter and the pumpkin and the and the glazed pecans like you're getting that like that nuttiness the sweetness from the pumpkin the spiciness yeah that's probably gonna happen <laughs> okay uh next one is falling leaves and i don't remember this one in particular so let's check it out so falling leaves and this is like a brown color wax oh this this is nice this if we had a cabin oh this would be so nice in a cabin i really like this this is a definite woodsy scent this is definitely giving me like fresh fall vibes oh this is nice but there is like a warmth to this that i really really like that's different from like painted leaves that's different from like autumn road trip there is like a warmth to this that's really really nice okay so falling leaves is falling leaves is a blend of cloves cinnamon and patchouli so i really like that so the patchouli is bringing an earthy element to this and then the cloves and the cinnamon are just kind of warming it up this is oh my gosh okay oh man this is so bad <laughs> this is so bad but so so good okay and moving right along here to frosted ginger cookie and i do remember this one this one is kind of funny this is okay this is the perfect example of where my nose goes rogue because this one while i do really like it um i i smell fruit loops <laughs> that is not what this scent is supposed to smell like i but i do i smell fruit loops whenever i smell this yep still there <laughs> it is good it's great it's sweet it's kind of fruity <laughs> i mean fruity pebbles fruity cereal fruit loops <laughs> i don't know why I, I don't know why this is really nice though and i like it and who knows if i'm gonna add it to my club i have oh my goodness this is just so bad <laughs> oh it's good but i do get like fruity pebbles fruit loops kind of vibes frosted ginger cookie is chewy brown sugar cookie spiked with warming ginger and fragrant vanilla. It's nice. It's nice. I think this, I think this is a really nice one for like the holidays for sure. Um, all kidding aside, I know, you know, um, I think it smells like Fruit Loops, but like I do pick up kind of like if, if I really think deep, <laughs> this does smell like, like a frosted ginger cookie, but just right when I first smell it, I'm like, okay, Fruit Loops. <laughs> Okay, next one is Lavender Vanilla, and I am familiar with this one, and I like this one, but we'll have to see if, because I know, hold on, yeah, see, I loved this one. I I would, I'm, yeah, we're really going to test Sean on this one, because I know I've had this before, and he didn't like it. Um, he, I remember he smelled it, and I, I had it going in our bedroom and I think he said it smelled like baby powder. So I don't know if he like takes lavender scents and he's thinking baby powder or I, I don't know. It's really nice though. I love the balance between the lavender and the vanilla and it's so cozy and comforting. I think this is the perfect bedroom bathroom scent. It's absolutely beautiful. So really hope he likes this but i may just go ahead and add like a bar of it to my club um typically i like to add in twos but i don't know if this is going to be the case here <laughs> but definitely like sense that he's not super crazy about um i think and that was at the old house so maybe it'll smell different here <laughs> i can hope right but yeah lavender vanilla fantastic i love it so um this is described as lavender vanilla beans orange zest and patchouli so i really don't pick up any orange zest or the patchouli it really is just a really really nice lavender and vanilla scent so good okay and next scent is lonicera and i don't recall this scent at all so we'll see this is a really pretty pink wax so let's check it out okay this is for my floral lovers slightly on the powdery note I feel like if you like lush gardenia and lilacs and violets I feel like you're totally gonna love this scent shout out to my girl Linda she's gonna love this <laughs> um, yeah so definitely my floral lovers you're, you're gonna love this one 
So Lonicera is honeysuckle trumpet as warm amber and patchouli. This is like the patchouli bring back my bar of like ever. <laughs> um, let's see here. So yeah, honeysuckle trumpet as warm vanilla and patchouli hover over a spring garden. All of that to say it's it's a floral scent. Again, if you like um, if you like lush gardenia and lilacs and violets, I think you're really gonna like this one. Okay, uh, next one it's lots of lavender and this one's kind of funny for me because it has a green label and lavender color wax so interesting okay and i'm not familiar with this one that i can remember anyway so lots of lavender lots of lavender doesn't have lots of scent <laughs> this is a pretty this is a pretty light wax this um this it this smells like wax to me this uh, this has like no scent at all to me so i think when i do get to warming this i'm gonna warm it definitely in our half bath and like you know just the, the, the bathrooms <laughs> i think that's gonna be like the only place to warm it this is very very light so but with that being said i am the type of person that i love powerhouse scents i love it to smack you in the face as soon as you walk in my house not everyone is like that there are some people who do really enjoy home fragrance that are sensitive to home fragrance that do want to enjoy fragrance but maybe um have an issue with fragrance induced migraines and things like that this is going to be perfect that's one of the things i love so much about scentsy is that there is literally a scent for everyone there is a scent category there is a scent strength for absolutely everyone so while this may not be for me because it's pretty light this could be the perfect scent for somebody else so lots of lavender is described as a calming scent blend with lavender and chamomile yeah for maybe a hint maybe just a hint but it's it's very 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 light okay oh bestow my heart i have been waiting for years i have been waiting for years for this and it is peony petals so for those of you who did me a solid and threw a couple votes my way to my girl here bless your soul i love you we're besties sending big big hugs your way because i love this scent and this if you are like me and you're more you're more of a bakery scent lover but you appreciate some florals this is i think this might be the first floral i ever fell in love with peony petals this is so beautiful i love this scent so much you go oh gosh i'm so this if i add no other scent to my scent if you told me i could only add one scent to my scentsy club during this bring back my bar it would be peony petals hands down without a doubt that that's it like i have a huge stack over here I would even I would even not add Twitter painted, even though it has like I have more of an emotional attachment to that. Um, peony petals. It's so good. And now I can finally warm through the bar and a half that I've been hoarding for years. <laughs> so oh, it's so pretty. It's just such a beautiful, sweet floral, and I just love it. Okay, peony petals is peony and rose petals dance on a soft breeze. Okay, listen to me, friends. If you don't do rose scents, your girl here, I do not do rose scents. They're just too much for me. Um, they're too powdery, not quite sweet enough for me. This is perfect. Oh, it's so perfect. It's beautiful. Give it a try. Just promise me if you are like me and you like some florals, but you're pretty picky, do me a favor, give this a try. It is so, so beautiful. And if you love all floral scents, you're gonna go nuts over this. So good. Okay, next one is red cedar and sage. Really pretty, kind of green wax, clearly. And this one, yep, just as I remember. <laughs> this is definitely earthy. If you like more of those like earthy, woodsy kind of scents, um, this is what I like to call kind of like a sharp scent, where it's, hmm, it is woodsy and earthy, but it also leans kind of, um, like it gives me some masculine cologne vibes, but there is like a sharpness to this, if that makes sense. Um, red cedar and sage is run free through red cedar, sage, and fresh, fresh, excuse me, I cannot speak today, fresh forest greens. So 
I would agree with that, but just think like this is gonna be strong and it's got kind of like almost like a bite to it. So good. Okay, next one is Simply Patchouli. This one is getting a lot of hate here uh, the, for the Spring Back My Bar round, um, which is very interesting to me. You know, I, I just, I like the variety. I love the variety of Bring Back My Bar because there's, li there's literally something for everyone in this lineup. If you love earthy, <laughs> If you love patchouli, clearly we've got several things for you to choose from. If you love bakery, if you love floral, if you love fruity, there's seriously something for everyone. And it covers like all the seasons too. It's amazing. So Simply Patchouli, I know a few people are going to be super, super happy about this. Um, and yeah, this, it just, they have nailed the patchouli scent. So it does smell very patchouli, incense-y, kind of like woodsy, earthy kind of vibe. So it's exactly what... I would expect. So do I love it? I mean, I'm not, I'm probably, I'm not going to add it to my club, but I am, I am happy that they brought it back. Cause I know, um, there are quite a few people who do look for patchouli scents and patchouli is a very specific scent that Sensi doesn't come out with, um, very often. So I am glad it's back. So simply patchouli dive into the rich earthy scent of patchouli. It's pretty simple. Just like that. <laughs> okay. Next one, I'm really excited for these next couple. So Strawberry Sweetie. So Strawberry Sweetie, I have not smelled before. Clearly it is a red wax and I think I'm gonna like it. Yep, this is great. <laughs> this is a, this is definitely a candy strawberry. You know what? This is almost, it's almost like a syrupy strawberry. Like it's not an authentic strawberry scent. So if you're wanting coastal strawberry, if you're wanting strawberry rose, that's not this. This is more of an artificial strawberry scent. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. This is almost like a strawberry daiquiri. This is, this is giving me like strawberry daiquiri vibes, very sweet, um, artificial strawberry scent, but good. So. Strawberry Sweetie. I think Sean's going to like this. Strawberry Sweetie. Fruity delight of juicy strawberries sprinkled with sugar. I would agree with that. Okay, next one. I threw a ton of oats this way, and I have never smelled it before. So we'll see. We'll see if I like it. This, these are legit first sniffs. I have not. I literally just opened the box. I have not had a chance to smell through these because um, I like to do them here legit first impressions. Um, so yeah, along with peony petals, I think this one got just as many votes. <laughs> Ranger's taking a nap <laughs> and clearly he says hi. You scared me and you probably scared some of them too. <laughs> I know. Okay. Okay. So the next set we're going to smell is toasted apple butter. So I definitely picked, I threw some votes this way just because I'm really, really hoping, it just sounds like it's totally up my alley. Do you mind? <laughs> He's just like looking at me like, I, I don't even hear anything. Like there's not even like a UPS truck or anything outside. So I don't, I don't know what he's hearing. That's enough. Okay, toasted apple butter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know what this is? Okay. Ranger. I'm not re-recording this at this point. It just is what it is. Ranger. Um, Because then it wouldn't be for sniffs. This, to me, smells like the Scentsy scent, French Toast. If you remember French Toast, um, that one was one that I totally wasn't expecting on loving as much as I do. Because to me, I, it doesn't smell like French Toast. It smells like warm fall spices. Um, definitely bakery for sure. Um, but this smells like the French Toast base mixed with, wait for it, apple butter frosting. That's what this smells like to me. French Toast mixed with apple butter frosting. Really, really nice. Oh yeah, I like this. This definitely did not disappoint. Toasted apple butter is described as creamy butter blended with ripe apples accented with rich spices. It's good. So yeah, just think if you are familiar with apple butter frosting, if you are familiar with a previous Bring Back My Bar of French toast, think those two mixed together. That's what this smells like. My club is in trouble. Okay, last few. Um, next one that I'm super, super excited for that I have not smelled, 
toasted caramel sugar. Got lots of toasty scents up in here. Okay, toasted caramel sugar. Oh, shut the front door. This is so good. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, this is good. This is really, really good. This is similar to, hold up, caramel sugar cone, but sweeter. <sighs> okay. Yes, very similar, but if there is a note in caramel sugar cone, like that waffle cone kind of note that you don't love, um, I would definitely try the toasted caramel sugar because it's very similar to caramel sugar cone, but it, like I said, it's sweeter. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am not even lying. I think this might be the best bring back my bar round that we've seen in a really long time, if not ever. Mark my words. I'm even saying like this may be the best bring back my bar we've ever had. I'm just saying. And I'm not saying based on scents because they did have a bring back my bar with Huckleberry Sage and Sweet Plum Pastry in the same lineup. But just for the vast like amount of bars that i am like obsessing over this is a really good bring back my bar round okay toasted caramel sugar is warm milk with caramelized sugar and toffee that toffee is really coming through all swirled together with the scent of silky sweet vanilla musk oh i'm so glad i can add more than just one to my club <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh okay Okay, next one, we only have three more left, you guys. Next one is Twilight. Twilight, this is a pretty popular one. I know that this one was one of Dan Orchard's choices. Um, this is another kind of funny one. Um, funny in that, like, I, I guess Sensi has trained my brain so much to just think that the label should match the wax, but <laughs> um, lots of lavender has the green label and light lavender wax and this twilight has a black label and a red red wax so it's kind of funny like um watermelon mint is kind of the same way small details that don't actually matter um yeah so twilight this one's a hard one to describe for me um this is just hard to describe <laughs> Let me go ahead and read you the scent description and then I'll kind of give you my two cents on it. Twilight is a lovely, sophisticated scent infused with soft, romantic florals and ocean air. So yeah, this is definitely a floral. Um, it's just kind of hard to describe. Um, so yeah, I guess it would be like fresh floral, but it's slightly, it's just a hair on the powdery side for me. But if you like floral scents, I think you'll really like this. So twilight okay next one is vanilla walnut <sighs> apparently we are disrupting ranger's nap time <laughs> he literally has the run of the house like it's just me and the dogs the, he can nap anywhere but he wants to nap here with us <laughs> so okay vanilla walnut oh yeah this is so good this is amazing. I love this. This is a good, it's a really, really good vanilla base scent. And then you just have that like hint of nuttiness that the walnut is coming through. That's just really nice. It just kind of like makes the scent just a little bit deeper, a little bit richer, which is really, really good. So vanilla walnut is a warm fragrance with roasted walnut and sweet vanilla bean. So I would absolutely agree with that. Oh my gosh. How am I? Okay. So I have a club pile. I'm gonna go through the club pile and then we're gonna pick the top six. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then the last one, last but most certainly not least, is whipped vanilla pear. And this one I know I like. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I know I like this one. Um, yes, this is really good. This is really nice. It's really different because you don't typically have like a creamy, a creamy pear scent. Usually pears are just like, it's pears and spices and things like that, but this is like a vanilla pear. Really, really nice. Um, I love this one. So whipped vanilla pear is a luxuriant caramel glaze tops baked pear and whipped vanilla. So really nice. It really is more like the sweet vanilla that's like coming through, the sweet caramel that's coming through, and then the pear is a little bit more on the back end, but it's really nice. Okay, 
Okay, this is my no pile. That tells you what I think of this bring back my bar. <laughs> this is my no pile. So really quickly, my no pile would be, and it's not because I don't like them. I mean, it's just some of them are just not for me. I think really honest and truly, I think there's only one that I really honestly just don't like. Um, Twilight, not really for me. Simply Patchouli, not really for me. Although I do appreciate like the aspects of these scents. Um, Red Cedar and Sage, Lona Sara, a little bit too floral for me. Buzz Lightyear, that's the one that's just, I really actually just don't like. It's, um, I think there's just, too, there, for my nose, there's just too much going on there. And then uh, Blood Orange Spice, just a little bit too bitter for me. But again, I can appreciate all the things, but just for my nose and my preferences, these would be my nose. That's not very many. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble. My maybes, because I do have a maybe pile, and there's only four. So you do the math. The rest are yeses <laughs> that are probably going to be added to my club. So my maybes would be strawberry sweetie. So maybes meaning I'd have to decide if I'm just going to buy a six pack and, and enjoy it or if when I warm it if when I warm these scents I love them and then they're added to club so this is where it's kind of like mm, I don't know so strawberry sweetie in the maybe pile cinnamon in the maybe pile falling leaves in the maybe pile and lots of lavender lots of lavender is kind of in between the maybe and no it's just going to be based on the scent performance because I want to love this but it's just so light okay my yeses <laughs> Oh my gosh. I actually have these like, it's like towered here. I probably shouldn't even like do that. Those are all of my yeses. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, okay. So of my yeses, whipped vanilla pear, vanilla walnut, toasted caramel sugar, caramel sugar cone, peony petals is a must have. <sighs> toasted apple butter. Oh man. Okay, one, one, two, three, four. <laughs> I really love. Okay, so I'll, I'll tell you what all my yeses are, and then I'm gonna tell you what my top six would be of the yeses. So toasted caramel sugar, caramel sugar cone, peony petals, toasted apple butter, crazy coconut, cranberry mango, lavender vanilla, frosted, uh, frosted ginger cookie, everything nice, Twitter pated. Awakening, bananas, and amaretto. All right, now I gotta narrow it down to the six. Okay, so definitely. Okay, so after a lot of hemming and hawing, I did narrow it down to six. <laughs> that like, if I could only choose six of my yes pile, it would be these everything nice oh my god you guys i was like hi right before like actually smelling it just based on like my memory of this scent i'm like yeah but you know since he does a lot of really good like pumpkin spice bakery kind of scents but man this is good yeah everything nice it's gonna go into the club definitely top six out of all of this entire lineup for sure everything nice twitter painted love it will definitely go into club toasted apple butter love it uh, toasted caramel sugar. So I decided I was going in between. So if I'm going to add, well, they're probably both, let's just face it. They're both going to go to my club, but for my top six, I'm like, I got to choose either toasted caramel sugar or caramel sugar cone. And of the two, the one that gets my vote for top six would be toasted caramel sugar. So good. Peony petals. My number one, of course, has to. And amaretto. <sighs> so good oh so so good i love this lineup you guys this is such a great bring back my bar and all of these are going to be available starting january 1st for the month of january as always we are accepting pre-orders so if you would like to be added to our order list i will link the order form right down below in the description we you can do a bundle and saves you can order one bar each if you want to they're six dollars a bar you can do three bars for 17 dollars. that's us pricing or you can do six bars for 30. we even have it worked out in our order form if you wanted one of each we bundle them to get you the best possible deal but Oh my gosh, this is really good. I knew I was gonna like quite a few of these, but I did not expect 
to be like as in love with like most of these as I actually am. So this is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be very interesting for sure. So now we will definitely do Sean's first sniffs when he gets back. That'll be a much quicker video. So um, yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. If you're new, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Sensi. Have an amazing day, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, friends.